Greetings, greetings, and thank you so much for tuning into How to Date an African Man here on Spreaker. Today's broadcast will be on Spotify, YouTube, iHeartRadio, and Google Podcast. Um, the title of today's broadcast is is my African man playing me seven signs to look out for okay seven signs he's no good for you or seven signs really to look out for um, number one no actions smooth talker All right, so your African man would tell you that he will pick you up or may tell you that he will pick you up and do this and that and y'all will go here and there. But he knows in his heart that he ain't going to do it. All right. When the time approaches for him to live up to his word, he will make stupid excuses on why he couldn't do X, Y and Z. So what he's basically doing is gassing your head with hope and anticipation about things he know damn well he ain't going to do. Ladies, please be aware and be on guard. All right. A man that is serious about you will will fulfill his words by backing it up with actions. All right. Number two, he's a damn liar. And then I put a little slash social media lies. Now, this really depends on the player regarding the second part I'm going to get into concerning the social media. Now, let's focus on the first part, which is he's a damn liar. You start finding out that some of the things your African man told you ain't true. Okay, so for instance, he may say I was never married before or I don't have any children at all. But one day. You know, you run into someone that knows him and they mention something about knowing he was either married or he has a kid and blah, 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 blah. Or you might run into some information about him. This is why background checks are crucial before getting your heart tied up. OK. Um, now, let's talk about the social media. Players don't really add ladies to their social media accounts because you know it's a possibility that another lady will see that this lady posted a comment and then they're going to be like who is this lady and blah 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 so it, it really depends on the player here but this is one thing i heard one lady um was saying how Her man told her that he was at work construction, okay? But he had posted a story on his IG, and she was, you know, following his IG, but she came across his story, and it showed him at the bar, all right? I made another video about building a proper foundation with your African man, and I'm telling you, this lies, your you know, you can't build a great foundation with lies. So if this man is lying to you early on, you really need to excuse him out of your life ASAP. I hate lies. Number three, he doesn't really go out with you. Or if he does go out with you, he's going far. I mean, far to a restaurant. Okay. Um... Players are very wary about being seen out in public with a woman because uh, they don't really want to risk another lady seeing him with that person. 
Okay, players usually like to stay in and get food delivery. Okay, so I know this has happened to me when I was very young. Um, the guy he would never take me out. I was wondering why. He always ordered um, food to the house. And um, now that I'm older, I can I, I see you know a lot of where I went wrong. But anyway, moving on to number four, you really will not be meeting his friends and his family. But it really depends on the player. Okay, so um, one reason is he, you know, he may be open to meeting your folks, but you just won't be meeting his anytime soon because either his folks know that he plays games and he don't want to risk losing a chance to play you by being exposed. All right. Now, I had a person, you know, I was with the player. Um, that did introduce me to two of his friends, but they were players as well. Okay, so like I said, it really depends on the player with this one. Also, he may not want his family to see um, him with multiple women each week because that will make him look bad. So that's why you will not really be meeting his friends or family. Number five. No consistency. All right. So one week your African dude may call you. And the other week he ain't calling you. Or you can't reach him at all. Okay. So you're like, wait a minute. This is crazy. You know, I've been calling you all week. Are you still interested in me? Listen, ladies, please don't chase no man. Ah, I got to make a video on that. Do not chase any man. All right, he disappear on you, you disappear on him. Click and block. Ah. So, while he's disappearing on you, he's playing another woman. Okay? So, that's why you couldn't reach him for two days or three days or four days or a week. Because he's juggling you around with other women. Number six, no future plans. If a man, if an African man is into you or a man in general uh, is into you, you will not have to guess. You will not have to guess at all on if he will take the proper actions to make you exclusive. However, if you're dealing with a player, he will avoid talking about making future plans with you. Um, some ladies find themselves find themselves asking, where is this going? Baby, are you really into me? What's going on? We haven't talked about us. At this point, once this question is made known to the dude, he can either ghost you after using you for sex and other stuff. Or stick around and keep playing the game. Okay? So please, ladies, be aware of this. Um, players do not like being asked, asked this type of question. Because they they don't have no plans for, you know both of you they, they, they just don't have any plans to take it further with you other than to use you and play mind games number seven your gut tells you something ain't right ay 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 your intuition is constantly telling you something is up and you have an uneasiness Hmm, 95 to 99% of the time, your gut could be right. Listen to it. Don't shake this feeling off. Even though you can't pinpoint exactly where and what the issue is. Okay, so if you have, you know, an uneasy gut feeling, I would encourage you to look up some Facebook relationship groups and post what's on your heart. I'm a part of two 
Facebook relationship groups and people are constantly posting um, questions, you know, to get insight on either how to better their relationship or, you know, um, advice about what could be the problem and yada, yada, yada. So anyway, anyway, that wraps it up. That wraps up this episode on seven signs. Is my African man playing me seven signs? He's no good for you. Okay, I thank you so much for tuning in. I put some links underneath this broadcast as well as the YouTube portion. And um, I want to tell you my blog is this. Today's article will be on my blog, datingafricanmen.blogspot.com. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and you have a great day.